Number 12 then from the 2017 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, there's that graphs question for five marks. There's a diagram and it says part of this graph has been omitted. Oh, what's this bit? A, given that f is an odd function, copy the diagram and fill in any asymptotes and any points you know should be on the graph. Well, if it's an odd function, it should have half turn symmetry. So that all the answers for the positive x's are the same but negative for the answers of the negative x's. So that if that's one portion of the graph, the other portion must look like this. So there. And if that points on it, if the answer for one back is negative 2, the answer for one forward should be the opposite, which is positive 2. There's one more thing. If this curve is an asymptote to this line, as x heads towards infinity, then this will also have the asymptote of a parallel line, like this, where the equation of that parallel line will be, since it's parallel, it's got the same gradient. And because it's got half turn, if that was 3 below, that's now 3 above, so it's a half x plus 3. Now part B for two marks. On a separate diagram, sketch the graph of g of x, where g of x is the modulus of this. Include known asymptotes and points. Now, the graph is the graph. Just one thing here. The graph is the graph. The asymptotes are boundaries to the graph. So that when you look at this line, y equals a half x minus 3, for instance, that's an asymptote because it approaches it. Even though you might think, well, this bit here is redundant, but you can't ignore it because that shares the same equation. Now, what happens when you do this? The modulus simply means this part will flip up. So any negative parts become positive for the graph. So, if that's the original graph and you want the modulus, this would flip up. Now, it's important that boundaries go with it. So this negative part would disappear and the graph would look like this. It still has a boundary though, so this asymptote has to reflect up with it. Flip it up so it's all positive. Notice I've left these asymptotes which were just guiding boundaries for the graph in just now. Some of them are no longer appropriate. Essentially the graph is this portion. So if it went through negative 1, 2 there, it's going through negative 1, positive 2 because all the positive parts became, all the negative parts became positive. But what are the asymptotes now? Now this line here, even though it bounced off the axis and carried on being an asymptote there, they've got different equations, so that's no longer an asymptote. This line is still an asymptote, and this one, again, that isn't doing anything anymore, that's not an asymptote. The asymptotes are the lines, the bounding lines that the curve tends towards, so these are the two, and there's no reason for the asymptotes not to extend down below. It's the graph of f of x. That's the graph that's wholly positive. The asymptotes, as in the lines it heads towards, the bounding lines, still exist in the diagram. So this line is still going to be a half of x plus 3. But this one then, since it's flipped over, will be y equals negative a half of x plus 3. They're meant to both cross there. Part C says, state the range of values of f dashed of x, given that f dashed of 0 is 2. Well, f dashed of 0 is this. It's the gradient of that curve at the origin, and that's the steepest it ever gets. It gets its steepest here, then it begins to level off again. So one thing you can see about f dashed x is, it's always less than or equal to 2. It's equal to 2 at the origin, less than otherwise. But it doesn't get less and less and less, because it's got an asymptote. It heads towards this line and tries to run parallel to it. But of course it's never actually going to get parallel to it because it's keeping getting closer to it. So the gradient of that line is a half, so this is tending towards a half, but I can't put equals there because it's always heading towards it, so it'll always just be slightly off of a half. There we go. And of course, that applies on this side as well, because that's also got a gradient of a half.